Hi there! Welcome to my channel. I'm Painting Han. Today, we are going to be painting these beautiful and uh, cute flowers that run over my students' block for me. So beautiful. So, in the base are tulips, tulips and daisies and this one. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot this name. Anyway, we gonna paint these beautiful flowers in the base. And I already sketched it in uh, 2H pencil on watercolor paper. And But then today, let me show you how to sketch. Okay, before we start, I'm going to tell you about my materials. Colors, um, cadmium yellow light, cadmium red, and ultramarine deep. But then you can use any uh, brand of the red, yellow, blue. Okay, only we are going to use the three of the primary colors. We can make the, any uh, green and yeah, uh, any colors, okay? So, okay, let's start the sketch on your paper. Okay, first draw a big oval. Draw a big oval, yeah, okay. Draw a big oval. Second, Draw a B, uh, draw a smaller two of uh, oval shape. Okay, one for flowers, one for base, and third, draw a circle for flowers like this. And uh, at this time, once you have your reference flowers, even if facing uh, same direction, all same direction and same size, but then make sure to have the other flowers facing different direction and uh, draw a different size, kind of like this. Okay. Here and there and some daisy here. So another daisy here and draw base like that. Okay, like this. Daisy, this is the center. So many petals in daisy. So draw kind of like that. Okay, and then uh, open your imagination. Always make a different uh, flower size and different direction. Okay, this makes it look more natural and your painting will flow better, right? Okay, we're gonna try it. This painting, I'm going to start with the top side flowers. So we, we need to orange and green color, so yellow mix, red, you can get uh, orange color. So you can use kind of this color or uh, some the strong or reddish orange color. You can use it as uh, it's, it's up to you. And then green, green is yellow mix blue. This is the uh, secondary color, orange, green, and purple. Yeah, we can use this color and then some part make a little bit of darker than uh, greenish color. Yeah, this. Okay, we all prepared for painting, today's painting. So first, I'm going to start this tulip. This tulip is um, tulip has yellowish color and orange color. So first two apply the yellow color and then get some orange dark orange color strong orange color put on the down to the barrier
this is a second layer and then I want to get more uh, strong density of a color so red mix orange and so I want to almost red color put on the down area This paper is still wet, so this color uh, spread by themselves. Okay, and one more touchy. I wanna the end. creamy red color okay that's it just a touch Okay, in the center, in the center, the uh, this flower makes some uh, scoop, kind of cups. So in the center, there are look very darkest color there. So only I use the reddish color. I'm going to put some uh, ultramarine deep. center okay I'm, I'm going to try this uh, daisy first because this area is not dry yet so
What I'm doing now, this paper almost dry, not perfect, uh, fully dry. And I got some ultramarine deep color on draw some draw uh, between petal lines. I'm doing some detail. First wet the paper with a big brush and then you have to uh, be careful don't mix the uh, this daisy and tulip Then make a more darker green color. And I will be back this area or oh, this paper oh, until dry. Next, I move on to this base.
This painting almost done, so I'm going to use a spreader technique on the background area and draw some shadow. Okay, so first with the paper, whole entire area, but then, uh, yeah, I'm not to use the uh, top area, so just with this area. Okay, I'm done this painting. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye.